Okay, so I think that anorexia is a really difficult topic to cover and because of that I'm going to be taking it a little bit at a time. And for today, for my first installment, I would like to discuss what exactly anorexia is. And I'm going to open this with the reading. It's a quote. It's an actual piece of writing that's been written um, by someone who's pro-Anna, and you'll find it on a lot of pro-Anna sites. And the quote is, Strict is my diet, I must not want. It maketh me to lie down at night hungry, it leadeth me past the confectioners. It trieth my willpower, it leadeth me in the paths of alteration for my figure's sake. Yea, though I walk through the aisles of the pastry department, I will buy no sweet rolls for they are fattening. The cakes and the pies, they tempt me. Before me is a table set with green beans and lettuce. I filleth my stomach with liquids. My day's quota runneth over. Surely calorie and weight charts will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the fear of the scales forever. <laughs> Anorexia is a topic I feel passionate about extremely. I have chosen to speak about it um, to you because I myself am recovering. Today I want to inform you and give you an awareness of this horrible disease which I would like to make clear is a disease and not a lifestyle choice. I'm hoping that for you girls out there and for the few men who do suffer that this information I'm going to give you is going to arm you and that you'll pass it to other women and other people who you know suffer. I'm also going to tell you about my experience with anorexia eventually as I feel that time is right for me to share my story. So let's discuss the basic statistics first. Um, anorexia nervosa is a mental illness that falls under the category of eating disorder and it's defined as an unhealthy obsession with one's weight and shape. Um, it can be technically diagnosed when a person has reached a, a, um, a weight that's 50% lower, no, not 50%, 15, sorry, 15% 15 lower than the expected weight of that person's height. So even if you're suffering from anorexic symptoms, until you have actually lost 15% of your weight, you cannot be clinically diagnosed. 3% of the population suffer from this particular eating disorder. However, in my opinion, and I believe anorexia can be affecting someone for years, uh, before they're technically diagnosed because a lot of people do suffer from anorexic symptoms without reaching the diagnostic point because they don't lose weight easily. Um, so the statistics are most likely much higher than what's presented because, because of the diagnostic criteria. Um, I found no stats that tell me just how many people are suffering from the mental aspect of the illness um, because only the physical statistics are presented. Um, but I imagine that in our day and age with the media the way it is and with the pressure on women to be a specific way, um, it's probably widespread and it's becoming an epidemic. I'd also like to point out that it is the only mental illness, with the exception of bulimia, that actually kills people. It can drive people to slowly destroy themselves, and 20% um, of people who suffer from anorexia will either die directly or indirectly because of the illness. Um, so now that you know all of this, maybe maybe it can help for you to understand just how severe and serious it is. Um, anorexia is most common among females between the ages of 10 and 20. However, I believe these statistics are inaccurate as well as I've learned from various groups uh, that the onset of anorexia tends to begin in this age range but seems to peak in the mid to late 20s. Um, as far as males go, they make up a very low percentage of the anorexic population, which is less than 10%. Uh, we know that it affects about one in every 100 teenage girls and that the age range affected becomes younger all the time. Ten-year-olds are now being found to be at a higher risk of the illness than ever before. In fact, 50% of girls between the ages of 8 and 14 are dieting. 
which is sick. It puts them at an extremely high risk of developing the disease when the onset of puberty comes. Because anorexia is commonly seen as a, as a teenaged illness, studies are not often done on women in their 20s and 30s. But I can tell you from personal experience that it's just as big of a problem, if not a bigger problem, in women in their 20s and 30s. Because at that point, the illness has had a lot of time to fester and grow inside of them. The study of eating disorders is relatively new. And hopefully some of these statistics will become more accurate over time. But right now, this is what I have and this is what's available. And as far as my personal experience goes, I had anorexia for seven years before a doctor would diagnose me because I hadn't lost that 15% of my weight. So if you are out there and you haven't lost a lot of weight but you still feel like you're suffering, don't listen to pro anocytes who tell you you have to be thin to be anorexic. It's not true. It's a mindset. And I just hope that these statistics give you some comfort, at least let you know that you're not alone. And uh, I'll be back again um, with more information shortly. So please stay tuned in for the next installment because by the time I'm finished making these videos, you are going to be enlightened. And if you are suffering, you're going to have a better understanding about how to get better and if you want your families to see this, they'll have a better understanding about where you're coming from, okay?